We have a question here. Okay, go. Living in a non-Muslim society where you have to take loans from the bank to buy houses, is it allowed to take uh, loans where you have to pay interest? Because there are some fatawa that we have heard from some shiukh that it is allowed to take loans with the small interest of with small interest because of the necessity. Could you please clarify, Sheikh? To all the brothers and sisters in Islam, we, we are aware of the situation that the world is facing, not only the Muslim, everyone is facing the same problem. When you want to have to own a house or to have a good car, you may not have the cash to buy a house or car, so the bank will offer you loans. Islamically, Allah know best. And He know what is good for us. And Allah do not want to burden us. Allah never want to burden us with things that is not good for us. And that's why taking loan and involved in riba, interest is haram in Islam. It's not easy for you to stay away from all these kind of loans today. I'm not saying just the Muslim, but the law of riba is been forbidden not only among Muslim, even among the people of the book. They forbid riba. Do you know that among the Jew, they don't practice riba. They came up with this system, but they do not practice this among themselves. They believe in helping each other. Those who have more help, the underprivileged, but they apply this system to other because they know that we are weak and they know that we depend on them. But when you believe in Allah, that He is the provider, and you try your best to do what you can, if you don't have the means to buy an expensive car, a car, give an example, a car is a car. It's just a transportation to bring you from one point to another point. If you can't get expensive, get a cheap car. It's still a transportation. Not necessary to go for expensive thing. Alhamdulillah. So far, Allah has been very kind to me. I never get involved in riba. I never get involved in riba at all. Alhamdulillah. I have the money, I buy. I don't have the money, I keep bit by bit. Whatever I can, I buy. I never get involved in any loan. Even many banks offer loan to me. I said, Alhamdulillah. Allah has been very kind to us. So we can free ourselves from all these loans. If we have faith in Allah, we are contented with what God has given us. And that's why the Prophet said, always compare yourself with the people who is lower than you, who are poorer than you. Don't compare yourself with people who are better than you. Then you are not contented. It never means that you cannot enjoy life if you have the mean, you're welcome to enjoy. If you want to get more reward, you got extra, you can lend it to your brother, to sister for the sake of Allah. And inshallah, Allah will help you when you help another brothers and sister for the sake of Allah. So riba, of course, is haram. And there's no way a Muslim can say riba is okay. Jazakallah khair.